We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, welcome back to another video. This is one I've been sort of put, putting off for a long time. <laughs> I reckon I've said about half a dozen times that I was going to be do a review of this thing and uh, finally decided to get around to it today. It is the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Helmet from the Black Series. This is an electronic helmet. It has some electronic features. Um, it is out of the box already. I just thought I'd share the box seeing as I've, I have kept it. Um, you know, it's just got some pointers on the side, electronic, electronically distorts wearer's voice to sound like a clone trooper, um, which I haven't tried because I haven't put batteries in it and I'm probably not going to. So that's one thing in this review that I won't be looking at. Um, you know, it's just one of those things when I put batteries in stuff, I forget about it and then I don't touch it. And then you worry, then I don't have to worry about all the corrosion of batteries and stuff when I leave stuff in there. Um, adjustable fit to, so to fit adjustable fit for most head sizes including mine which is you know a gigantic head um realistically detailed entertainment inspired reproduction of the iconic clone trooper helmet from uh season seven of the clone wars so yeah just some more images on the side got the cool artwork there on the side a picture on the top of the box and then on the bottom it's a bunch of nothing and mumbo jumbo so We've had a look at the box. Let's take a look at the helmet. I'll swap it out. All right, here it is. Now this is just this is one helmet I couldn't say no to. You know, they are expensive. These helmets. These retail generally for about two hundred and fifty plus dollars here in Australia. These were about two seventy uh, at EB Games, which is generally like the standard price. Which again, it's too much to collect them all. So very very picky. Um, this is one I just had to get. You know. It's too nice. Um, I had seen the uh, phase, the regular clean phase two uh, clone trooper. I made it work, picked that up a few months beforehand. So when this one came out, which wasn't long after, I was just, I was absolutely all over it. I had to grab it. So it, it was there for a little bit, but um, yeah, eventually I went and grabbed it. Um, and I'm glad I did because it's so nice. It's a nice piece. It looks good. The The paint on it is really, really nice. Really nicely done there by Hasbro. They've done a great job. So looking inside the helmet, let's see if we can get some light in there a little bit. You can kind of, kind of, kind of <laughs> see in there. So there's the adjustable strapping in the top there. As you can see, there's extra padding in and around it as well through the top. All those pads are soft. Around the sides, they're all part of the mold, but they look good. All sort of different all your breathing apparatuses. You can actually see quite well out of it too. But not like some of the others where there's a, a great deal of detail. This is yeah, just nice and simple. It's comfortable. It's not heavy. But um, yeah, I wanted to share, you know, the paint, which is something that was done by the clones in story you know they painted up their helmets they found some orange paint and you know slapped it together just as a little nod to commander tano once they heard she'd returned back so i remember when they released the black series action figure and there were quite a few people that were upset about the uh the paint apps they weren't sharp they weren't clean um they looked like a kid had done it <laughs> Which, you know, it, not to say that a kid looks like a kid has done it, but the whole purpose of this sort of mis, mispainted, like, you know, they've, they've got, got a quick brush and they've quickly just painted the orange on and, you know, it's sort of the way it is. That's meant to be what it looks like. And uh, I think Hasbro did well on that, on the, on the six-inch action figure. But yeah, the different sh sort of shades of orange. There's already some, like, white scuffs. A little bit of this sort of weathering through here, through the corners, through the back, you know, just builds up of build up of dirt and dust. A little blue vents there, which carry on into the stormtrooper outfit helmet. Got the breather and the com links there. Around here, that's where the uh, the button is. 
the back. A little bit more sort of weathering and stuff throughout, around there, underneath this section here. That's obviously where the uh, battery compartment is. So nice, nicely concealed in the back there, which is good. And some of them have the uh, bits inside, so that's it's nice, nice and concealed there. Yeah, it's the nice paint paint details with that orange. That's what really sort of jumped out to me when I when I saw it. And let's be honest, it's going to go well sitting next to Captain Rex helmet when that comes out next year. Uh, those two together will be fantastic. Fingers crossed for a uh, Arc Trooper Jesse. That would be that would be mint. I would love that. But yeah, just wanted to give a look over, mostly just the details of it. Obviously, like I said, I'm not going to go into the electronic side of things. Um, you just sort of see the grill there through the through the mouth vents. Looks good. It's a very nice piece, so I'm, I'm glad to have it. In terms of display, what I do is I bought a toilet roll holder. Like, like so, just found this at uh, Spotlight. Um, any sort of home store will have something like this. I actually bought this one for the Mandalorian helmet just because it's silver, but um, added some just sort of bandage tape on the top just to avoid scratching. Some people have put half a tennis ball in there and then just finding the sweet spot, you can get it to just sit on there like, like so. And that just elevates it up off the, off the shelf a little bit. Um, I do need to get some more for my other helmets as well. Um, particularly this one. This one, you know, I've, I've been using this for this one. Um, but yeah, did buy that for the Mandalorian helmet. So that's just one little one little detail I wanted to share about my displaying of the helmets. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate it. It's nice to finally get around to doing this video. And uh, we'll see you again for another one very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.